welcome to the Cap Guy Show, starring JT and the Cap Guy. Now here's the Cap Guy. Cap Guy, we got a mystery box. Another mystery box from our bloody van in East Chicago. <laughs> that's right, that's right. Wait a minute, East Chicago? That's a home of Jake and Elwood. <laughs> that's true, that's true, it is. The Blues Brothers. Four fried chickens and a Coke, please. Or did he say please? I don't know if he said please, but four fried chickens and a Coke. Cap Guy, you could probably down that. <laughs> not a whole, not four whole fried chickens. I don't know. I see you eat. Well, never mind. I don't want to embarrass you on the show. Uh, and some fried, some dry uh, toast. Man, I can't even say it. Dry white toast. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. And then they sang that song. What song? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Keep them doggies moving. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Raw high. Through the wind and weather, we'll stay together. Wishing my cow was by my side. It's gal. I said cow. I want my cow by my side, not my gal. <laughs> oh, you're something else. I, uh, I resemble that remark very much. Anyway, that's the only song they knew in that country club, and then bottles were thrown at them. Uh, well, that's the one that kept them from the bottles from coming at them. Uh... I, apparently, you ain't seen the movie because they kept throwing them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, let's get on with it. All right. Wait a minute. That was supposed to be me. <laughs> you sure ain't no ventriloquist. I never said I was, and you never will be. <laughs> let's go, folks. All right. So the box is here. It's a couple of days early. It wasn't supposed to get here until Tuesday of next week and it got here today. So thank you USPS, uh, paid $54 and 10 cents for the box to get here. That's the shipping. And then I'm going to send, uh, once I know what's in it, cause I don't, I've only opened the box. I haven't, uh, looked inside and this one's a total surprise except for two items that I knew about and that's it. Um, and then I'll send uh, van, uh, some money. Uh, so he can have money in his pocket too. Cause I'm going to make money off the box. But let's get busy now and let's do this. So here we go. And uh, JT, you can help me out here because you're gonna have to comment on this stuff as I go. Okay, the first thing I see, brand new, and this is all from a hoarder house. Six, six I think, or seven loads of U-Hauls um, from this hoarder house that he did. So he sold a lot of good stuff out of it. And this is some of the stuff he decided to send me. This looks like, and I don't know how old this is, but it's made in the USA, so it's got to be old. It is a t-shirt, Oakton Limited, but the tag says Fieldmaster, and it is a plaid winter shirt, brand new with tags. So that's number one. And uh, yeah, that'll sell. Um, yeah, smells a little musty. Smells like Granny's old cellar. And I love that smell, by the way. I'm going to move. I want to get dirt on this stuff, so I'm going to lay something down to throw this stuff on as I come out of it. Looks like we got another one. And I don't know if this one's new with tags, but let's see. God, look at that old Sears tag. Look at that. And I know Sears, it's Oakton. And that other one was an XL, and this one's an XL, but this is an insulated... This is one of them Chuck Backroyd better type shirts because in Wisconsin, you need this stuff. You don't need this stuff here. It's in the 50s today. All right. Stay tuned. Anyway, that's number two. Oh, we got some ball caps. Let's just see what he sent me. And the first one is, I don't know what Cap America. That's it. That reminds me of the stuff that uh, uh, I got from uh, Danny Pequel Resellers. A whole box of this type of stuff, Cap America, different brands, and uh, all of a sudden they started selling. So, um, yeah, let's go. Uh, this one is National Cart News, and this is a flame cap is what they call them because it's got the flames on it. And it's also brand new, you can tell. National Cart News. The next one is Studebaker. 
And uh, I'm assuming that's the Studebaker car and it's made by KC Caps. Um, it could be a company too. So I'm just guessing without looking it up. Avante. And again, this is a vintage, excuse me. A, <laughs> JT, you can quit burping when you're doing a video. Don't play with me. <laughs> oh, anyway, KC Caps. Uh, Marine Coal, this is a corduroy cap. Or Marine Coal Sales. So I guess uh, coming from Chicago area, I guess you have to have coal, right? Uh, I don't, but again, I live in the South. We don't have to have that, or in the Midwest. This is a D-Day military cap. Army Strong, U.S. Army. That's pretty cool. They're all brand new. Not, not super vintage, but uh, pretty cool. This is a distressed uh johnson hat and again nascar new with tags okay next one is a historic weber lake wherever that is wool cap pro wool cap again brand new with tags somebody tell me where weber lake is got some trout on it so i know it's not around here we have trout in southeast oklahoma but we don't have them here uh los cabos tuna jackpot tournament the second annual shimano trinidad uh, is the name, I guess, assuming the name of the boat, but I'll have to look that up and find out <laughs> when the second annual was, and if it was in the 90s, then I'll know it's really old, right? Uh, here's one of the Man Mountain Link type hats, Pro Tackle. Yep, yep. It's got a swordfish on it. Yep, you don't want to be poked in the rear end when you're in the water by one of them swordfishes. Why did my mind even go there? I don't know. Cool and Dry, Devin Arlington. Arlington, Devin and Jones Sport. So again, oh, Arlington, it's a racetrack, horse track. And I used to bet the horses quite a bit. Won a pick six one time, but y'all don't care about that. All right, what's next, JT? <laughs> you don't know? What do you mean you don't know? Well, heck, you're holding the stuff up. That's because you can't hold it up, you goober. Oh, man. Caribbean Joe Polo, again, new with tags. I guess I'm listing clothing. Uh, the next one is Havana Jack Cafe, also new with tags. So there you go. Yep, got that musty smell. Came from a, you could tell it came from that hoarder house. And uh, oh, some ties. Here we got some ties. Let's see who the brand is first, because I think they're just Looney Tunes. Yep, Looney Tunes. There's Marvin the Martian and Daffy Duck and and uh, I thought I told a putty tat. I did, I did, I thought a putty tat. All right. I never professed to being good at that. There, that's a pretty cool one. Yep. Yep, Looney Tunes. And uh, it's just like a Disney one. Yep, it is. Mickey. There you go. Ty. Uh, again, Back road bitter could wear that stuff because he wears that kind of silly stuff. Silly guy. Silly rabbit. Nix is for kids. Oh, that's tricks. There's a Looney Tunes. Got Sylvester the cat and bugs on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, <laughs> you know, I swore I was getting out of ties. I didn't know Van was sending me ties. Tasmanian Devil and Yosemite Sam and Bugs again and Marvin Martian. Looks like Bug, uh, uh, Bugs Bunny likes to be in all of them, huh? Uh, here's some more. And there you go. Bugs and Taz. Is Taz from Tasmania? Down by Australia? I guess. Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. Tigger too. Eeyore. I ain't going nowhere. I told you I wasn't good at that stuff. Oh. <laughs> Man, I'm going to shoot you, boy. <laughs> more ties. I used to buy ties and I quit buying them. So, um, they just weren't good sellers, even brand new ones. But these are all, there's 101 Dalmatians by Disney. And I don't know, Van, if you looked any of these up or not, because I'll let y'all know what they're worth when I know what they're worth. Another Looney Tunes. And, oh man, some more Looney Tunes. And if anybody's interested in any of this stuff, you let me know. There's a, there's your Valentine's tie. 
Pepe Le Pew. Come here, me darling. <laughs> I'm not good at it, I told you. But I can't resist. All right. Oh, yeah, there's Elmer Fudd. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, what else we got here? Okay, we got some, looks like some handheld Radio Shack Championship Golf in the box. That's pretty cool. And uh, I'd probably be as good as it as I am on PlayStation with golf. I still shoot horribly. And this is Star Wars from 2008 sealed. And that's a snap kit. And here's another one also from 2008. So those are new and sealed. I like new and sealed. Oh, there's more of them. Here's another one. And another one. All Ravel, all 2008, all sealed. So again, I don't know what they're worth, but I will find out. Man, I don't wear them kind. Montgomery Ward, $3.25 boxer shorts. I bet Nady Pie probably wears those kind of boxer shorts. What do you think? You know why? Because they got that opening where you're kind of cool. Because since he wears a shirt that's open, I'm sure he wants everything else to be open too. But uh, yeah, I don't know what year these are. Um, but they're old. Mediums. Uh, I guess you're out on that, Nady Pie. Anyway, just kidding, buddy. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh. Uh oh, lost my box. Fruit of the Loom, large. And there you go. And I'm trying to read on the back. Yeah, those are old too. I don't know how old. Man, this guy bought a lot of stuff. And you can see the Fruit of the Loom tag there. Um, they're vintage and they're all sealed. That's what I like about them. I'm gonna try to get this box back up on this trash can because it kept me from having to reach down. All right, we're gonna move here. Um, it's a Jeopardy collectible watch. And yeah, and that's from 1999. And guess what folks? It's new and sealed, new and sealed. Crazy, crazy. Um, here's a Tiger electronic Jeopardy game, also new and sealed. Vintage old stock, isn't that what we call that stuff? I'm gonna move this. I gotta find a place for all this stuff. Here's one, silly trivia. Chuck, maybe that's kinda like useless trivia that you know, right? Or Miss Journey. Family Feud, yep, yep, and these are all from 97 Tiger, and they're all new and sealed. That's what's really cool about them. Um, some more Jockey Classic boxers, and these are three to a pack, mediums again, and yeah, 2004, that's what that's from. Um, oh, we got a plush. We got a bunny. We got a... Here comes Peter Cottontail. Up and down the bunny trail. Hippity hoppity Easter's on its way. It really is. Um, that is Boyd's. So I know it'll have some value because Boyd's stuff usually does. And 1990 to 1996 is what it says. So, yeah. There you go, Peter. Yeah. All right. Hansley Lifewear Shorts. Again, boxers. Van, what's with all the boxers? What's up with that? What's up that, brother? Uh, from Paris, Kentucky. Hmm. You know there's a Paris, Texas, too. Here's a Star Wars mug from... Well, I don't know when it's from, but maybe y'all can tell me. Y'all watch the movie. It's a newer one, I can tell you that. All right, thermal socks. Again, that probably should be in Wisconsin. Um, yeah, Knit Street, okay. Um, oh, 
That's a DC comic plush, new with tag. I guess that's Superman or Superboy or whatever the heck it is. And uh, what year is that from? <sighs> Toy Factory. I need Chris Cajun's plush seller there. Um, I'm looking for a date on this thing. Uh, man, there's a lot of paper tags. Well, heck, I don't know. Chris, tell me. You know. You probably know. Mr. Plush Expert. Oh, another tie. Another Winnie the Pooh stuck in there. We're looking for his honey. Is there any honey in here? Oh, another DC Comics. Looks like we got Wonder Woman. That one will probably end up at my brother's. My brother in Texas has a Wonder Woman collection, and I doubt he has that. So that's going to go over there by JT. Get her away from me. <laughs> Another Boyd's Bear. Okay. I can't sing that one because it, you know, you know, I don't know. Anyway. More socks. Woolrich. Merino wool. And, uh, yeah, those are old too, I guess. Kind of like me. Old. Established in 1830. I don't think they're from 1830, though. Um... <laughs> Another tie. Bugs Bunny. More socks. More socks. Thermal socks. Some uh, Hot Wheels. Batman. This is a Batman set. New in the box from... 19 and... Oh, 2021. That ain't old. But... Those will sell for about $15, $16, $17 a piece. I've sold those. This is Action Ones, Hot Wheels. And I'm assuming these came from the Hoarder House, too. A brand new pair of, uh-oh, I wonder if these are salvage jeans. But they're 550s, brand new with tags. Eat your heart out, Dixon Marcus, Dixon Pickens. Size 11, medium. Size 11? Are them women's? They ain't no made. Are they made in the USA? Yeah, these might be salvage jeans. Let me see this stitching. I might do some research on them. Let me look behind the button. It's a three number button, 573. Those could be salvage jeans. Uh, you might have sent me some money there. I don't know. We'll find out. 550s are good, though. Brand new with tags. Um, Ty, Tweety Bird. He's still seeing that footy tat. And, uh, <laughs> okay. A vintage Jim Henson. Uh, looks like 90s or 80s. Piggy Bank. I have sold a plush of Jim Henson's for a uh, hundred bucks, a, a Kermit. Uh, beanie, but I don't know what that bird seed bank. It's a coin bank, and dang it, Ben, you didn't send me no money, no money. Oh, I gotta send you money, don't I? More socks. Um, <laughs> JT, you want to take this one? They're bucky balls. What the heck's bucky balls? <laughs> I don't know, JT. Zoom doggle. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't see a year. Or do I? Nope, I do not. Oh, yeah, I do. Where is it? Well, no, I don't. Anybody know about those? I'll look those up, too. Bucky's Balls. Is that like Bucky the... Is that what they named the... Those stores after? Bucky's? No, it's not spelled the same. Who knows? My mind just wanders. Okay. Another Star Wars mug. So I'll probably lot those up unless they're valuable individually. Um, yeah. Dang, I'm running out of room. Okay. Phillips HDMI adapter. 24 karat gold. It says it. Now I gotta look it up because I might just melt it. All right, maybe not. What's this? BMW 
Anybody know what that is? BMW X433 Nitro Remote Engines Car Alarm. Huh. Yeah. In the box. And we're getting down to the nitty gritty. Who knows about pinball baseball? Probably flipping sports guy Paul, since he's into baseball really big. And what year is pinball baseball? Uh, what year is this? Come on. Come on, make it easy on me. I don't see a year, but anybody know? Again, I'll look it up, but it's in the box and I can feel it. And then what else we got? A couple more things. <laughs> okay. Atari, touch me. <laughs> I'm not even going down that road. Not. Look at that. Yeah, it's missing the back cover, but that's pretty cool. That may just be a display in my room because it's Atari. And you know Atari's been... Oh, JT. Oh, JT. You're, you got to be kidding me. Cap guy, what are those? What is what? Those. Those are uh, women's undergarments. Undergarments? What's an undergarment? You know, like underwear. Underwear? I ain't never seen no woman wear no underwear like that. They're vintage. Wait a minute. Vintage underwear? What's that mean? Well, when we were kids, we called them granny panties. Your granny wore those? <laughs> Not my granny. Just grannies in general. There were big bloomers or big... You're confusing the heck out of me. <laughs> I know, I know. But they're worth money. Some people collect vintage granny panties. And those are new with tags. Uh, why do people collect? <laughs> Let's not go down that road. What road? I'm asking a question. <laughs> uh, uh, some people just like collecting panties, okay? And their granny panties are maybe memories of their granny or something. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> That's just weird. <laughs> I know. Let's get on to the next item. <sighs> All right. Man, y'all confuse the heck out of me, you reseller. <laughs> well, resellers just buy it to sell. It's the collectors. Well, they confuse the heck out of me, too. <laughs> you people need to spend your money on better stuff. <laughs> well, I guess since he talked about them, I got to show them, right? There we go. <laughs> Granny panties. And uh, these are by Warner's Perfect Measure. And they are... They were $5 back whenever these were made. And actually, they were originally $10.98. And it looks like these are back in 1995. So, brand new with tags. That's what they call vintage old stock. There's another pair. There's a peach pair with some frilly, frilly lace. And, uh, JT, you going to wear these later? Heck no. Uh, <laughs> there you go four pair. And that's my box, folks. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you laughed a little bit. I hope we made your day. Y'all have a great weekend. You people up in the north and northeast, uh, you might as well watch because you're snowed in. So I'm going to enjoy this 50s and 60s. Y'all have a great day. Subscribe. Talk to you next time.